It's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on the video. We're going to have just a quick one. We've got a bunch of tokens built up. We're going to pull those probably first, and then we'll get into the daily quest. I've got a couple of teams to run through, some uh, nodes in the required character node, and the big enchilada. So let's get right into the tokens because there's only a few minutes before midnight clicks over for me. And that's when the daily draws start over for the next day, depending on your time zone. So uh, let's get over to a couple of vaults, and we'll come back to these others. But I want to get to the ones that reset. And basically, Venom Bomb is the story mode event that's open right now. We've got seven tokens, and then I'll get down to the 100 hero point purchase daily special after that. Let's get right into the action with the tokens here. We've been doing pretty good by hitting a number of rewards on the front page of the of the uh, front panel of the rewards. There's a three-star Squirrel Girl. Would love to get that main event Hulk or Kingpin. Already got the Rock and a Groot for my lucky sidekick. Pulling tokens. There's a Psylocke three-star hit as well. Nice. And another one, Thanos. Man, we're doing good. Glad we chose to do this quickly here. Three star again. Another three star. And then now we can do the daily purchase in the Venom Bomb Vault. Watch this one be the only two star in a row here. Nope, another three star patch, Wolverine. What a crazy run. Nice. We'll, uh, let's scroll on here to Webbed Wonder. That's the story mode event that's open right now. We've got just about two and a half minutes to get these draws done so we can do the daily special. Not that it's that big a deal. Whoa! That's a big deal. <laughs> the viewer luck is already on. We just started tonight and nailed it. The latest legendary token from the Webbed wonder vault claim it look at that hit guys crazy well there's other good results in here uh four star there's a support token we've got four star uh professor x main event hulk again and winter soldier still available another support tokens there there's kamala Three star Thor. Can you believe this run? We'll do the daily purchase. And. Okay, just bullseye this time. But see how it's a 1x is a 400? Check this out. In just a couple of minutes, we'll see that that resets back down to 100 hero points. I think that's the only stores that we have a time constraint to, to worry about. So we can go through the rest of these. Cold War is the new event that's uh, featuring four star. Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. It's uh, been pretty fun so far. Some some of his abilities, his uh, blue ability, his red ability hit really hard uh, for four-star damage while he's boosted and can play basically right along with five stars, essentially. Let's do these first couple of tokens. Got another three-star. That's Colossus. What is with the three-star luck? There's She-Hulk. This has got to be a two-star. No, three gold in a row. Bullseye. Fantastic. All right, let's move over to Raging Fire. That's the event that just ended featuring main event Hulk. That was a fun event. Held on to a top 10 finish in clearance level 9. More three stars. Is something up with the odds tonight? Another three star. What in this world? And a bonus. We're going to have to check the odds on this. Okay, well now we can go back and see. Now it's only been a couple of minutes, but it has flipped over to midnight my time and reset the vaults. And now the 100 hero point daily purchase is back. So I'm glad we uh, ran in to do that. So, uh, so within the next 
you know, 24 hours, I can do that uh, discounted purchase for draws again. I won't do it to today. We'll save that for tomorrow. But I wanted to show you that in case you didn't quite know. We've got 17 heroic tokens to pull. Let's start over here with the standards. 45 of these. We'll see how we do. Probably do about 22 of these. I would leave about 23 behind. But if we hit the three star, we'll stop and move on. Don't usually do the tokens first. Some of you might be happy that those are right up front in the video. We'll get into some three-star teams action in the daily quest in just a little bit here once we're done with our tokens. And that's probably where we'll just end it today. Um, we'll also, after that, we'll go into the character leveling and uh, champion level rewards. That'll be a nice quick video after our last one. Last couple have been a little bit on the marathon side of things. Made a huge run of over 500 points in the shield simulator to try to get to the 2000 point level before we ran out of time. And I don't want to spoil it here because it was pretty, pretty fun, pretty exciting to try to get done in time. All I'm going to say is it was close. All right, that's enough of those. We didn't get the three stars, so we might get that next time. Let's move on. Nine elite tokens. Now we're getting two stars again. Back to a three as soon as I mention it. Killer odds earlier. Man, we got so many three stars in a row. Alright, three tokens left. There's another gold, Black Panther, with the bonus beast. I think I need to move my bonus off of beast. Let's do that here quickly now. Let's see, who's going to be... I think I might have gone over on beast by a little bit. Maybe I'll move it to, let's see, Hawkeye or Captain Marvel? Probably Hawkeye, that'd be fun. It's a great character, fun to play, interesting and unique abilities. We'll take our bonus hero off of Beast and add it on to Hawkeye. There we go. Back to the tokens and the last two elites. Got a gold Ragnarok and a bonus just in time to switch it over for Hawkeye. So perfect. Nice job on the viewer luck there. Just in time to switch that over. All right, 17 heroics. We'll do that last. Let's move over to the support tokens. We got a number of supports, but there's a, quite a few I don't have yet. Let's see if we can get a new one. And um, if not, if we get a duplicate, it'll hit for a whole bunch of red ISO. Let's go. It is a duplicate. A chimichanga level one. I already had that, so we are uh, get rewarded with 1,400 red ISO. That's going to be a pretty good amount. Let's take a quick look. And see how much um, red ISO. Yeah, 92,000. I should probably level up some of these supports. I've got some good ones that really help out a lot on the PvE side of things. And eventually supports are going to work in PvP. And when that happens, these are going to become a lot more significant than they are now. So um, it might be kind of scary to go up against enemy teams that have supports on that you don't know exactly what they have and where. But they'll help you anyway. Just like team-ups you can bring into battle. can be very, very helpful. All right, 17 heroics. Well, let's take a quick look at the odds. They're 1 in 16 odds for getting a 4-star, so our chances are pretty good, not guaranteed. But I think we're running so hot, we're going to get a 4-star here. Let's concentrate the luck and go. We probably got all the 3-stars we were going to get tonight. So if we get any gold at all, let's make it a four star. Nope, there's a three. Iron Fist. Bunch of two stars. I kind of need a couple of Bullseye. He's nearing 50 saved covers on two star Bullseye. That way we can champ him. I, love, I like playing him. Another three star, Hulk. In the two-star node, I often play 
Bullseye or Magneto or both along with Hawkeye because when you get extra moves, Hawkeye's passive purple ability to create those speed shot countdowns is fantastic. Here's another three star. Another Iron Fist. Wow, five more tokens. Can we get one more gold before we're done here? Bullseye and Hawkeye just came through. Cap, last two tokens. It's gold. Scarlet Witch. And Wolverine. All right, we'll do the daily purchase here. Didn't have time to get that in before the time clock, the daily flip. And it's just a two-star Black Widow. So we're really due for a four-star from Heroic Tokens. Hopefully that'll happen the next time. But we ran so good in three stars. I'm pretty happy with what we got. Let's go through the Deadpool's daily quest. And then when we get through these three fights in a row, that'll be where we go into the character leveling and end our day. Make this video a lot shorter and to the point, I guess. So let's play with Falcon. He's a required character, so we don't have too much of a choice. But I want to bring in Psylocke to try to show her in a light that uh, a lot of people don't think she's very good. I think she can be quite good. And she specializes in red, blue, and black. Falcon has uh, a blue ability as well, although it's a fully passive. And then um, a passive yellow and an active purple ability that creates protectiles and does team damage. So why don't we find somebody that has a green ability and that'll round out the colors. Maybe green and yellow would be good because Falcon's yellow is passive. Guess who I almost always bring when we need a green and yellow. Um, might be a little played out. Let's go, let's do this this time. Let's go for Patch. He has a passive yellow as well for his healing, but I haven't used him for a long time. And his Berserker Rage is awesome. Falcon helps with that a little bit. All right, here we go. So I think out of these three enemies, let's target Daredevil first. He could potentially be the most dangerous just because of his stun. And if he plays his Trap Tile with his red ability, that's, uh, that's pretty tough to deal with as well because with trap tiles obviously you can't see where they are so I get blue and hold on to it when you're playing with Falcon because when you have five blue that activates his passive ability to remove enemy special tiles so if Captain America happens to get off his red or blue abilities and creates a countdown tile Falcon just swoop well sends in his red wing and uh, swoops in and just overrides and uh, basically eventually just removes those countdowns or any other special tiles. Really awesome. Okay, let's go for purple. I want to try to leave a couple of yellow matches on the board. Ooh, man, this is going to be good. We have an extra move in blue, but it's not just that. The critical tile is actually going to land right there in that four shot of green. This is probably going to take out Daredevil. Real close. All right, good. And that'll do it. Perfect. So now we have the abilities ready to play for Psylocke. Let's go ahead. Her red hits really hard. Psychic Knife costs eight. And then when there's red strike tiles on the board, it begins to cost less to a minimum of five. But uh, she does 34, 58 damage and creates a huge strike tile strength 333. That's big, really big. I don't know why people are so sour on her um, overall. So uh, here's what I wanted to show you. As you get yellow matches, Falcon will um, swoop in with his uh, passive side of his yellow ability and increase the strength of your special tile. So we'll do the yes yellow here. That's a knockout because of all that strike tile damage. Now he's going to increase that every turn. Check this out. It was 333. Now this thing's already up to 437. Another yellow match. Inspiration kicks it up every single turn. Now he does three 
he can increase the value of up to three of your specials per turn. Let's go ahead and play Bird Strike for the team damage plus projectiles. And this thing is just about over. Bewilder has been uh, changed and modified when they, they uh, reworked Psylocke a uh, number of months ago. And now it's a lot better than it was before. Still a little bit, probably her least important power, but it can be pretty good. It'll increase the strength of your special tiles as well, and her black ability also creates attack tiles. If we had more time in that match, she would have been able to um, have a lot more strength to her special tiles on the board. Let's keep that same team in the big enchilada, and I think we're going to run through this with a little more action out of Psylocke and definitely out of Patch. So what do we want to do? Probably, let's try to prioritize green, although I'm going to start with red just to get that away from Daredevil and blue. Okay. Now I think we can start going for a lot of green. Let's do it this way. It's a purple match up above. Okay, right, right. Well, I think we got to keep red away from Daredevil, and then they don't have a green user on their team right now, so uh, they're not typically going to take green matches off the board. Now, real quick, I want to point something out. There is a match three on the board that sets off and uh, immediately drops an extra move. Do you see where the match three is? That creates an extra move right immediately after the match three. Right here with this yellow. See the black that's up above? Check this out. Boom. Nice. It also dropped another critical with that red. That was huge. All right. Got a good knockout of that uh, lieutenant. I believe so let's move over and let's work on daredevil now that we have a lot more strength going on so let's do this we'll play psychic knife to hit him with that that's gonna really just about take him out how much damage do we get from psychatana 1391 so let's not hit, hit, hit him with it let's hit uh, Black Panther with this. It'll do more than the 1391 because of the strike tile. There, 1724. See how that would have been a little bit of overkill on Daredevil. Now, this will be just about a knockout blow. I do believe we'll knock him out here. We'll match yellow. We'll get a drop on purple and increase the strength of our specials for every yellow match we get for the rest of the battle. Don't match that red with my strike tile in it. I'll take blue and we lose our attack tile. Okay. Well, we'll have to try to get another one. Here comes Red Wing to override the enemy specials. Perfect. And look at this. We have Bird Strike ready to fire. Let's do it right now. It's team damage plus a bunch of protectiles. We're not going to take any more real damage in this whole match. Extra move. Let's try to finish off Panther here with an extra move in green. Awesome. Got him because of that strength of those strike tiles and everything else. Just, just doing great. Let's um, see how much damage we can do against Wolverine with Berserker Rage. Show a two-star what a three-star can do. 2991 straight damage plus we have enemy st strike tiles and our own strike tiles we can hit him with another psychotana that's just going to take him out and man this thing is just about over i don't think well i was going to say i don't think we need much more out of red wing but Let's not do that yet. We have a yellow that drops a yellow match. This two yellow hit combo is going to take out two-star Captain America right here. 
and we matched the red wing tile that was on the board which is actually a good idea as long as you have blue then the red wing will launch out again on the next turn if you can match away the countdown that way you don't have to wait for it to to uh, count down to zero that team was fast if I didn't uh, spend the whole time talking as much we would have been able to get through that a lot quicker <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Behemoth Burrito. This should be a pretty interesting fight against Hulkbuster, Graysuit, Black Widow, and Two Star Thor. Using Shuri. Oh, I didn't know that's who it was going to be. Great, let's make sure we have respect out correctly. A lot of people run her green at higher than cover level 3. I typically like to get the most out of her passive blue ability, so I leave it at 5 and sometimes run her with a, a, a stronger green ability. But we're going to use her abilities only in this match, not the other guys. We might uh, be able to get some use out of Bullseye's passive if we're lucky. But her green will do some damage, especially if we have some fortified tiles on the board. So red is going to be huge. That's her incredible red ability that creates some fortified tiles. And... Her, uh, the, the Vibranium Virtuoso gives you a bunch of additional damage when you match fortified tiles. So let's uh, really make a rush for red. Mm. The other great thing about a red ability is when there's enough fortified tiles on the board, Shuri will reduce the cost of your abilities on all colors. It's really so, it's such a good ability. Okay, so I'm not seeing much for lining up red matches. I guess we'll just kind of try to do as much as we can to move the board around. There's a red there. Lucky, super lucky extra move. Wow, look at that. <laughs> what okay so it's random where the um, fortified tiles go but what's great about it is if you had special tiles on the board she would specifically fortify those specials right now I don't have any special tiles that's okay I just want to get it played immediately and there we go now you'll see that our the cost of our abilities twin blasters went down from 11 to a cost of 8 I wouldn't even play that green unless I had the cost reduced. We got uh, a nice critical tile match with a fortified purple tile down below. Let's see how much damage we get out of this. A knockout blow on Thor. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right. I do want to try to fire off her green ability, though, so we need to try... A little bit harder to find some green matches. Oh, they're matching away all the fortifieds. Well, nice. Okay, good. So we can get this green. Now we have it ready to play. It's much better though if you have your uh, your red played. So we're going to try to get red once again. There, how lucky with the drop on top. We are in really good shape now. Let's go. So uh, let's play. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. There's two bullseye moves on the board. Yeah, we'll, all right. We'll go ahead and do this. Vibranium Virtuoso. It did fortify the tile that I wanted to do. So we're going to get extra damage out of this match, and it is a bullseye match. So is he the one doing the extra damage, or is it Shuri? And if it's him, we'll get a knockout blow on Black Widow, which should qualify for his passive... I'm a big bullseye fan, at least in this game for his contract killer ability to add strike tiles to the board. I think it's not going to qualify, but if it does, this would be very cool. Here we go. Okay, so it was Shuri that did the damage, not him. It just is, is not very clear 
when you play it if it's just added on to his damaging ability. That's too bad, but no problem. Let's go ahead and play Twin Blasters. It does damage of 2670, um, and it destroys five random tiles. If it happens to destroy a fortified tile, it'll also stun the target. So let's hit Hulkbuster. Didn't hit a fortified tile, so no problem. Let's go for more red if we can. He's going to go for red as well, so the better we can do at getting it away from him. All right, let's take some green fortified match. 2200 on top of the match is really pretty crazy. Green and one more match should do this. Let's go for a green shot. Shuri's really good, and she can play along with five stars as well as uh, whether she's boosted or not, but especially if she's boosted, it's crazy. There we go. Got the win, got the command points, and a little more progression in the daily quest. We'll take a quick look here at the Crash of the Titans. I'm not going to play it today, but... Uh, people having pretty good fun with this one. We're against three-star Black Panther, leveled up to 270, so he's a pretty big deal. And we're fighting with Winter Soldier. So if you guys are getting a good grip on Winter Soldier from his versus event, this should be uh, a pretty straightforward matchup. And I might say, you know, just go for red and blue as fast as you can and save purple to either line up the red or line up a red match so that you can match away your red countdown tile or save purple so you can take away AP from Black Panther before he would use an ability probably his yellow or black. So good luck with that. Let me know how it goes. We'll, we'll play that match in a couple of days. Let's level up our characters and we're going to be done for the night already. One stars. 61 one star sell them out and that 6,000 plus ISO 8 took us up over 800,000 total ISO so at some point during this week we are going to champion a new character is it going to be a four star is it going to be a bigger character than that hang on and you'll see soon most of that is I haven't decided <laughs> but a little bit of suspense doesn't hurt all right, so we've got some time on a couple of these other two stars, but I did want to go and hope that we had a couple covers in a row on Bullseye. Looks like we do. This is going to be great. Bullseye hits saved cover 48, 49, and saved cover number 50. Perfect. So you know what we're going to do? We'll do something here in a second with him. All right, Spider-Man, we got a Bagman as a lucky surprise cover. That'll take him up to level 100, and we had another one to go to level 101 on our second version of Bagman. We do have a champ, a full max champ level Bagman already. Let's jump out back here into the two stars, guys. This is kind of a cool thing to do. I've been waiting to champion Bullseye. We got all those 50 covers. 69,500 ISO to champ a two-star. Let's go. Now, here's what's what's pretty cool. As soon as I promote him, it's going to run through all 50 of these saved covers and apply the rewards for us all in a row. Um, it goes pretty slow, but you can click the screen to speed it up. So let's promote him to champion, and here we go. There's a three-star bullseye. And so as you click it, you can see it fly by pretty fast. It's always three ISO rewards in a row, and then either hero points, command points, uh, heroic token, or the three-star reward. Very nice. All right, champion maxed level 144 bullseye. Back at it again, and we have a couple of two stars I could probably sell out and rebuild soon enough okay went too far let's go into the rest of these rewards I think the twos are good enough let's go into the threes there's our three bullseyes that we got in a row let's add those in 500 1500 
ISO and 100 hero points. Level 243. This next level should go to 11,000 health. All right, great. There's Sam Wilson. Just got that from DDQ. Level 213. Deadpool's daily quest is DDQ, if I never really explain the acronym for you, if you didn't know. Scarlet Witch 214, another thousand of ISO. Now we need to get the ISO back. We just spin on the two star. Got a bunch of Iron Fist, didn't we? Level 229, 30. He was a uh, reward for placement and progression recently, so that's why I had a number of him in a row. Level 235 now on. On the uh, second build, we have a Max Champ version of him. I don't really want to sell at any point if I don't have to. Same thing with Hulk. A full level Hulk just has so much health, and the rebuild is already about 17,000 health at 247. All right, Hot Guy, our new bonus hero for the time being. Check this out, guys. At level 223, he will reward. Kate Bishop, the four-star Hawkeye. Nice. All right, Hawkeye, or, uh, excuse me, Ragnarok, 198. And Beast should be pretty good right here. Level 239 is the legendary token, and it looks like we had one more Beast in the list. The level 240. All right, Black Panther, 14,000 health, 243. Thor... 216. Vision is the next versus event. 186 on him, but I do have a Max Champ ver uh, version of him. of him. I'm glad I kept out and didn't sell out. Cyclops. Need those heroic tokens. Let's get more of those from these levels. Torch, She Hulk, I'll add in the other area. I actually remembered in time. Almost 12,000 health on Colossus for the second time through. 100 hero points. Kamala's almost at max level again. She needs about seven more, exactly seven more covers. About. 264 on Patch Wolverine. Next level for him is an X-Force Wolverine. And the level after that is maximum. I already had a max champ version of of patch here and I sold them out needed the ISO for something else probably a four star that was running out of time on covers and now you can save covers and you don't run out of time so that is a nice feature takes away a little of the fun in the urgencies uh, urgency of things but um, makes planning for ISO use a lot better okay uh, electric goes up to 244 Thanos 227, 224, at 227, I believe will be the next legendary token in his rewards, that's why I was thinking of that number. Psylocke, three command points, heading toward 10,000 health again. Squirrel Girl finally gets us another heroic we've been looking for, a couple sentry in a row here. He's the reward in the webbed wonder event and other areas check it out you might like sentry you might not but one thing that he's very good at doing is getting you champion level rewards in four star moon knight i'm a huge moon knight fan in this game i think he's a very good character sentry goes up to 186 he'll do that again at level 223 all right, and Doctor Strange goes to 247 for eight command points. Wow, nice. We're up to 2,150 command points from that. Stop here and go over to She-Hulk. I just have been building. Oh, and the duplicate already has five in green. Hilarious. Well, that's fine. So now I guess we can go to the nearly full level She-Hulk. And this will be a pretty good reward. That's going to be 15 command points for that cover. Nice. All right. 
So I started building the duplicate before the saved cover thing came out, and uh, the Max Champ are nearly so, and needs five more levels in She-Hulk. Okay, got a couple of four stars, let's handle it. Just got Moon Knight from Sentry. Goes up to 296, 16,200 health. Great. Winter Soldier, four in a row from recent event rewards. 281. Three command points for 282, 283, and 284. Very nice. That'll make him a little more powerful in his event as we wrap things up. And finally, the ghost cover that we got because we did make it to the end of the season simulator with something like 23 minutes before the entire thing closed up. We got to 2000 and shielded out for the win. Let's add that in. She goes to level 5 in supply run for a total spec of 543. Need one more cover and she'll be at 13 and ready to champion. Can't wait. She is actually quite a pretty good character compared to some of the newer four stars she uh, she's rating pretty high all right that's gonna do it guys uh, there's a lot more going on in the game but I'll do another video real soon I did want to point out one last thing today happens to be very late on Tuesday early very early Wednesday morning live but in the latest legends Captain America is in this vault for another six days and then a about at some point on Monday, usually very early U.S. time, um, around 9 a.m. Central, it just definitely depends. But Captain America will be moving out of Latest Legends, and moving in will be the new five-star Loki. So when that happens next week, it will be Okoye, Wasp, and Loki in the Latest Legends. Vault Cap will be out into Classics, and we're finally going to get to the point where we're going to pull a whole bunch of our latest legends tokens here 72 of them and if we go beyond that we'll get into our command points to try to build up a lot of loki and wasp but more importantly right now getting some levels in our champion okoye can't wait to get her up a little bit she's been doing great guys we're going to end it there thanks so much for watching there's a lot more mpq out there if you need to stay on um, twitch make sure and check out enios 4 he does a great job streaming regularly and just entered five star land and has a bunch of great uh, four stars in his roster check him out adam0519 is also on twitch and killpower559 those guys are great like and follow please support them and if you're going onto youtube or watching this video there make sure and check out mr mpq and artem those guys do great playthroughs reviews and so much more like and follow as well that's it Gotta run. See you next time, guys.